Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Battle Chasers Night War. We managed to, yeah, let's reset the camera back to center on our friends here. And let's just go ahead and go up to the exclamation point to find something. I forget what we're here for. Iron Outpost. Okay. Though in ruins, the former scale of this mighty fortress is evidence. Nature has begun reclaiming the old stone. The smell of moss weaves with the salted breeze swirling around the entrance. Now crawling with bandits, time to figure out what the power what power is driving Lujan from the ancient site. So we can do challenge mode normal, heroic, or legendary. Diane's difficulty will reset the dungeon. Got accepted. The thing is, the battles have been kind of easy so far. Let's go heroic. I don't know if we're ready for legendary yet. Let's at least go heroic. And they're both average is a thing. I'm tempted to go legendary. If we make it work. Yeah, actually the fights have been easy. Famous last words, right? The fights have been easy. Let's let's do legendary. Let's try it out. Let's let's rock and roll. Legendary's difficulty mood may design even the most seasoned veterans. Party has knocked out the dungeon will completely reset. I'm okay with that though. If the dungeon resets, and we don't know how big the dungeon is, so that could be annoying. Okay, fine. So we can come back, is what it seems to indicate. Fine, fine. We'll do hard. If we can come back, that's okay too. We'll just see how big the dungeon is. Alright. It might actually be huge. We totally need to heal. We need to heal. There we go. That works out. That'll work. Okay, some kind of bones around here. Interesting. We should probably be as garrison just in case. It seems like if I smash the bones, I would do something. This is the Iron Outpost. Yes, very good. You can read the signs. It's well lit for an abandoned outpost. <laughs> That's true. Somebody's been lighting these torches. Our approach hasn't been subtle. We should be prepared for resistance inside. When are we not prepared? That sounds a little cocky to me, but okay. Let's go. You wanna knock? I guess not. Okay. Let's open up the door and walk right in. Alright, so if we dash... We get to initiative, I believe. Oh yeah, he gets to go first twice, in fact. Okay. Well, in that case, let's do Swift Strike on pretty much anybody here will do. And then go again. Oh, no, he doesn't get to go again. All right, well, then just jab then. We need the overpower. Overcharge, whatever. And then Gov Punch will not take him out. Okay, so because of our up... Um, are up difficulty level, these guys have increased their health. Good to know. Still exploded, though. Okay, that hurt, like, a lot. I took down, like, half the health. Holy shit. Yeah, and this guy is armored, so he's gonna take less damage for most of our attacks. At least until we can sunder the armor. I was hoping the gut punch would sunder him. Uh, it says it's sundered. We'll see. Okay, that hurts. Didn't take him down to half, though. But he now has a really good overcharge. You should probably heal. Okay, you can use... Use Quake Fist. And then you, actually, no, you should use Warblade, maybe? That is pretty fast. I think that keeps you uh, still after him, though. Yeah. Is there any of these to make him... Yeah, there we go. Cleave. But that doesn't do much damage. Rally Strike will haste everyone. It only takes place after him. No, I think we just have to do it. Just accept it. 46 damage versus 59. I'd rather do the 59. So you just heal yourself. That's good. Okay. 
Yeah, we knew that wasn't gonna kill him. Oh, that came so close. Shit. All right, well, I guess if Caliberto haven't, didn't heal himself, we wouldn't be able to take him out. But sadly, not the way it worked out. And we are at least at more or less full health. I haven't really been paying attention to when we level up, do we heal? I have no idea. Okay, got some blade leaf, a well handle? A well handle? Okay. Maybe that's used for something. Oh, there's a slime there. Sure what the hell, dash in. Yeah, and then we get to attack. Alright. It should be easy. Given... Even at a higher difficulty level. I don't know. Maybe. Boom, gut punch. Okay, so he will get to act. So a little bit more difficult than the slimes we're used to dealing with. But he's almost out. He will get to attack us once. Oh, wow. Okay, Garrison could use some help. Can you heal him, please? Right, he might not get a chance. Yeah, does the heal still proc? It does not. Huh. Okay. And that should still be okay. Can we heal on the dungeon level here? If I go around. I'm running out of heals, though. Hello? What is this? Oh, we can upgrade, or we can do something to the crafting gloves. Let's see. I can make the crafting. Okay, I can make up the knockout gloves, but we already, we already have them. So why would I do that? The Bale Scout tunic, we already have one. Reinforced wool. Okay, so this is good. Success chance 100%. Let's do it. That'll increase our armor for the war golem. I like that. Yes, we have all these. Three have materials, yes. Two circle level, okay. Can I just create it, please? Okay, I need to hold down, that's what it is. Okay, we got our plating. Okay, is there anything else we want to make? Coast Iron Ring of Blades is not a bad idea. We do apparently have everything. Go and create that. And that's it. Okay. So now we want to move over to sorry, move over to the inventory and equip these on the requisite people. And the ring of blades, we gave the other one to Garrison. Let's give this one to Gully. Perfectly into a side of a well. Okay, I mean, that's something we can consider. This, post iron ore. Okay. We can go either left or right. I guess we'll do left hand rule. Sure, why not? Open the door and charge on in. I right, was probably be using Garrison for this. Because then he can charge in, get some bonuses on these guys. Alright, let's do it. I do love going first. Uh, definitely Swift Strike. We don't know what the Brawler is going to be. They are higher level, though. Five and six. Not going to be easy. Let's get the Overcharge. Definitely focus fire on these guys. Okay, that hurt. That also hurt. You should probably heal Garrison he needs it. And you weren't able to do it last time. We need some overcharge, please. There goes the heal. Nice. Almost a full. You know what? I'm totally willing to do some magic here. They use this five of our mana, but that's okay. Barrier Swing could do this job here. 
Okay, looks like that's gonna give Gar give yeah, it's gonna give Garrison something. So let's see. Rally strike I think would be good. Yep, shielded him. Okay, let's gut punch. I think we're focusing on him, and I think I don't think this will kill him. Not quite. Okay, so Garrison's attack will kill him though. He gets to make it. There we go. Aced us. Pretty good. Go ahead and heal. Sorry. Heal Garrison again because he keeps needing it. He keeps calling all this attention to himself. Uh, we need more overcharge, so just punch him. And we need more overcharge, so. Alright, punch me. There you go. There is the heal. And I think we need more of a charge. Doing it. Okay, Garrison, with your ability though. Some more blades here. It's a little slow, but it should work. And let's see. I'd rather you not use all of your mana. Sunder this guy if you can. Nice. With your overcharge, Quake Shot should finish him off, I think. But it's going to take a while to get there. Need to focus. Okay. I don't know if the heal is going to work off as well as I want it to, but... Yeah. Heal yourself, actually. It's 83, which is... Can we an overheal? Oh, he's knocked out. Never mind. Okay, well, we can heal next battle. So we don't heal by leveling up. Okay, there's a portal over here. I'm um, definitely grab this. Handwritten journal entry is scrawled on parchment. General Xavier returned from the main front last night because he came in darkness. Oh no, we already looked at this. Yeah, we already see this. That's weird. What about this thing? Okay, yeah, it's a teleporter. We don't know where the other teleporter, or where it goes, rather, so we're not going to do anything about it yet. A bunch of stuff around here. Hello? Drink from the Shrine of Strength. Sounds like a good idea to me. Combat prowess has increased. And we got some scraps. Okay. More crafting items. Oh, we should look in the barrel. Definitely look in the barrel. Own parts. Okay, I think that's it. Seems easy enough. We haven't actually used any of our healing potions. I suppose we could. I don't know. I don't think that's necessary yet. If we get into some trouble, I'll think about it. No idea how big this dungeon is either. My guess is pretty large. If there's a teleporter, it's probably going to be pretty freaking large. Okay, this we haven't seen before. Shortly after the outpost was complete, the true scale of the mana reserves on the island became evident. Bachelor knew a small outpost would need to grow into a full garrison if his valuable operation was to be adequately protected. Though the name never changed, the iron outpost became a massive point of military operations in the area. The halls became vast and widening, taking shape around the nearby foothills, often burrowing through them. The number of soldiers stationed there grew exponentially, and the influence of their population soon became evident elsewhere on the island, as new towns and camps cropped up throughout. The indigenous population was small and still weak from the struggle with Varus, offering little resistance to the change. Okay. So it's giant, is basically what you're saying. I was just talking about the size of the garrison, and you mentioned it might be huge. I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? Casket? Your scratching and shuffling sounds intermittently from the sarcophagus. Okay, why don't we ask? Hello? A weak voice whispers, hello, is anyone else somewhere out there? Please tell me, there's been a terrible mistake. Sure, why not? By the maker, thank you, I knew kinds will find me eventually. My buddies and I were drinking last night, and well, things got carried away. You know how it is, right? Go on. You need a teensy tiny favor. You see that ruin the lid? Just need you to know. Chant a few unholy verses, light an unholy candle or two, then boom, I'm free. 
Um, I bet he's gonna hold up an unholy warning seal. Beats me. These guys are crazy. Um, seems like you might be undead. I don't know how to prove that to you in a moment, but I promise you I'm very much alive and not undead. A little shocked you'd think that, to be honest. That's totally not helping. What's coming from this? Oh, God, somebody takes it. Okay, so I'm not being. I mean, I'm totally being pranked, but I knew it. But you have no idea what forces you're messing with here, but all this kindly one last time. You're going to help us out find another way to resolve this. Send it for us. Time for bargain is past, friend. Um, fuck you? No. Do your worst. A little early for me to come up, but as you wish. Okay, so battle enough. Okay. Shade of Belavros. He's got a fuckload of health. Fortunately, he's not healed. And also, fortunately, he's our level. It's going to be a tough fight, maybe. He does go right after Garrison here. Well, Swift Strike for sure to start out off with, right? And we actually took a little bit of damage from him coming close to him. Is that what just happened there? Yeah, it looks like. It's like we take damage from coming close to him. That sucks. I like that he keeps getting up, though. Okay, that hurts. We are, in fact, on fire. Um, well, Garrison, what do you do now? Big smart man. I think we have to hit, approach him again. At least he's taking more damage than we are. We are burning. Um, healing wave would be good, and I think on yourself would be best. Or on her would also work. Um, so... I think we just don't come close, and we... Tech Garrison, maybe? And then Garrison's the one who can come in close, maybe. Okay, healed yourself. Almost a full. That's pretty good. Okay, she's definitely not feeling all too great. So, you're the one who can come in close. Yep, she's in a bad way here. Okay, can you heal? Oh, actually, yeah, you can heal yourself. Do a minor healing class. Drink that. Not great, but it still worked out and bought you some time. In the meantime, we should definitely heal her. And then do another swift strike. That's a crit. That's good. Then we got plenty of overcharge now. Okay. I mean, you can't ignite us anymore than we've already been ignited. I'm using a lot of mana here. We do have mana potions. Remember, we have mana potions. We have we don't have any abilities. Right, because I use protection. You know what? Wake fist him. 172. This is gonna be tough. Alright, use your ability. Use Warblade. Sounds good. That's gonna take a little bit, but okay. You need to heal again. Holy shit. Okay, he's down to hundred. He's down to hundred. That's easy. Maybe. Or not. We could just die horribly. That could be also a thing. Um, let's see. Protection, maybe? Wake Fist might still be the best option here. Let's do that. Yeah, systems are failing. He did heal himself, though, so that's something. There goes Wake Fist. 45. We can totally do 45 damage. We can totally do 45 damage the next little bit. We can do that with... Rally Strike would do it. It's a little slow, though. It says it's fast. But he's not going to be able to do it until... Well, until he goes next, unfortunately. We just have to accept that. Um, we could Gut Punch, but I think instead... We're not going to only have a deal... We're going to be able to deal one thing here. So I have Defensive Matrix on Gully because she's... Nope, that's on herself. Damn it. Not what I meant to do. Okay, but he's out. So it doesn't actually matter. Okay, that was a little scary. Especially with that AoE damage. Okay, so everybody leveled up. I'm hoping that means we all healed. We'll see. Um, I don't think... Oh, no, we did all heal. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Okay, great. I was worried. No need to worry, though. We're doing fine. Totally open that up. 
Um, parts, some gold. More gold. Nothing there. Can't really move around very much. Nothing there. Okay. Well, we already had three. Uh, three swift strikes, but apparently not. Tempted. Yeah, let's uh, let's smash this. Nothing there. Okay, it just looked like there'd be something. So, is that it? There's a chest over there, so we're not actually done. Oh, hello. Alright. Nope, they're gonna catch us. Okay. I wanted to switch his garrison first, but sadly he's gonna get to go first. Or not. Okay. We get Sting. 13 damage generates 20 overcharge, applies a bleed, deemed 25 damage over 3 turns, stacks 3 times. Don't know how this guy could bleed, but sure. He's now bleeding, somehow. Nobody knows how. And Taunt. Try the next three attacks to Gully. Actually, that could be good for us if we defend her. Let's see. And Swift Cleanse. Remove two debuffs. Okay, so that would work for poison and stuff. Um, we don't want to defend yourself, though. You want to do... Um, actually, you don't have a defense on anybody else, do you? And heal wave, that's about it. Put nature's boon on her. That's the matrix, you can't do that for uh, anybody but yourself, huh? Okay, now that kind of makes sense. It does make sense. Okay, put nature's boom on everybody then. Don't know how long this fight's gonna last. Let's at least try to keep full health. Okay, she's actually the one who took very little damage there. Alright, now go ahead and swift strike. Actually, if we can do like 31 damage here, we'll be able to just take him out. Yeah, okay, we can totally do that. The golem does gut punch, that should be it, right? Yeah. Okay. Kind of wanted a wave, to be honest. I could have sworn there was another bad guy over there. But we'll see. What do we got? There is another bad guy over there. I did not make that up. Okay. Let's go over this way first. Oh, that's what we came in. Oh, okay. Okay, switch to garrison. We're going to dash over so that we get the first hit. There we go. Okay. Um, make this guy bleed, I guess? We could do that. Let's sting him. Sure, why not? Seems like bleed's a good opener. Does damage over time. Okay, arcane sick on our guy here. We could cleanse that away, though. No, I think we sunder. Sunder, 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 guts! There we go. Okay, and then... Could defend if we knew who was going to attack. I think we just go for the barrier swing. And that'll probably defend Garrison by default. So that will use mana. Now, nah, just jab. I'd rather use the overcharging mana if we can. And then swift strike him. Almost out, but not quite. Oh, but this might actually just kill him. Yeah, he got to move, do the one attack, and then that was it. Okay, that's the lesson I thought he'd be able to do. Alright. Got no loot for that whatsoever, though. There's a gate there, but again, I think it has an eye. I don't know, we'll see. I'll definitely do this. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, I can't open this somehow. Oh, there's this dude, though. Okay. Oh, I totally didn't... Okay. I went on top of the stuff there that was silly. I don't think I even got the attack off. Maybe I did. More of you? Don't really know fear. Sorry. I like that. Okay, make you bleed. Um, taunting, maybe? I'd rather defend and then taunt, but I can't actually do that, so I think just taunt you. So coming over here. I defend up. You attack me, but I got some overcharge for it. And then I gut punch you. Asunder. 
And also get some overcharge. You do have some overcharge now. And this would use the overcharge by using cleave. 61 damage. I like it. Let's do it. He doesn't go until late, though. Meantime, go ahead and jab him. And then he gets to attack. It's okay. Uh, if you want to heal her, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't think that's necessary. I think you just go and punch him. And then Garrison kills him. There you go. It says knocked out, but he's probably dead. It's like when Batman knocks out a guy. It's like, you know, I don't think he would have survived that. I think he's just dead now. And there's a slime. We totally got to take out the slime. I'm zooming in for every fight, and that's probably a bad idea. Unless we level up, in which case it's totally a great idea. Okay, make him bleed. I don't know how a slime bleeds, but sure, why not? Um, we could try taunting. She does have the most health of her, out of everybody. So I think she's our tank. And then you should probably heal her, because she's going to take damage. Okay, he gets to heal her first. I was kind of expecting the slime to go first, but I keep not paying attention to the attack order. But hey, being attacked with full health, I'm okay with that. Okay, going to jab. Could defend instead. He's going to attack us for one more turn here. You're unwise to lower your defenses. <laughs> okay, the heroes quoting Darth Vader, maybe not the best move. Makes me wonder what side we're on. What the actual fuck? Don't quote Darth Vader. Oh, there's the well. Okay, we do have the well handle. So, that's probably what we do with this. Come across the well. You can pull something up the well handle. is missing. Yeah, use the well handle. Well, the well, not the proper handle. You can pull something at the bottom. Turn the crank. Or look at the bottom first. As far as you can, but the well is so deep you can't make out anything at the bottom. The walls of the well glimmer with some sort of slime. Okay, it's totally gonna attack us. Let's do it anyway. We can use the experience. Yeah, what do you know? There's gigantic slime. Gigantic, as in bigger than usual? That looks like the regular kind. I think we're okay. 82 health. I mean, not great for us, but still not bad. Okay. You go ahead and taunt him. Come at me, bro. Alright. And you go and do the gut punch. Nice. Okay, you're gonna attack her. She is poisoned. Swift strike. Okay, he's out. He's totally out. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. She got poisoned. She's a little bit hurt, but not too bad. And actually, I believe that when we leveled up, did we get our healing back? We did not. I want to use the heal here. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We don't actually have any more swift steps. So we put Garrison up front, but it's not really going to do much for us. There's nothing else here, as far as I can tell. Okay, that just moves around. So we just want to follow that so we don't get caught in the trap. And is that it? I mean, there's a gate here. I don't know why you would use the gate. I mean, we can't, so, I mean, it's not an issue. Okay, follow this around. It seems weird there's nothing else here. Is there a map? There's got to be a map. There is a map. It says we go... Oh, okay. Didn't even know that was a way to go. Uh, not from here. Let's wait for this to come back. It does say we can go the other way. And see a path. Maybe I'm just blind. That's possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally blind. There's a way right up here. Alright. I'll totally take this. Thank you. Some common parts. Maybe we pray at the shrine? What is this for? Bold engraving is set at the base of the statue. Here the Watcher keeps vigil over the Iron Outpost with warning for those who would enter. Tread lightly. Okay. A little ominous.
Okay, we haven't heard this before. All right. History of the Iron Octopus Origins. When the Dark One fell, the Veil knew peace for a short while. Few felt any reason to revisit after Varus was defeated, for nothing of value was known to exist anywhere on the island. That all changed abruptly when the Mana Wells were discovered. King Bansler, still young in his ears, realized the importance of the discovery and quickly sent an attachment of his best troops to the island. Their mission was to begin the construction of a coastal outpost that would serve as the Bansler's main stake of claim to the new frontier. The work was slow at first as local wildlife, subfed by Mana, harassed workers and caused delays. Once the first and most basic walls were complete, the outpost soon became operational. Okay. At least they didn't use slave labor like, say, the missions. Where did look at this, right? No, we did not. Okay. Suppose we're 4 of 4. We've got 1 and 4 and 4 of 4. Okay. The general is a man of glory, truth be told. I, like the others, feel drawn into the wake of his power as he strides by. Ravenheart slapped me this morning, saying it was just the armoring to keep my distance from him. He says that Xavier has lost his way. Ravenheart is a fool. Why can brothers never get along? His jealousy is transparent. The general went to a battle of man and returned us more than that. It's blasphemy to suggest so, but he's like a... Ha. And the entry becomes incoherent. So what, the armor has a charm effect on it? That's kind of interesting. And maybe something valuable to know. I mean, that could be dangerous for us if we get swept in by the charm, right? Okay, there's a cabinet here. I'll totally open that. Got some wool. And... Got some stuff. Okay, two more ships. This time from the south. One boat, one airship. Boat sank fast enough. Airship got away. Or our Falda was fast. Faster than we'd seen before. Took damage, though. Some more than a few sorry souls fall overboard during the scuffle. Didn't bother fetching him. They were shark bait after that tumble. But yeah, he got away. Might get more company around here soon, assuming the ship can fake it more than a few clicks before the last engine gives out. Won't happen again. Okay, that's probably talking about us. That's a fairly recent entry, then. Alright, guys. Come get me. It's not a wave. We get all three. Okay, I'm okay with that. It's going to be a little tough, but doable. So we definitely sting. Um, we sting this guy, because I think he's the most dangerous. And... Yeah, Gut Punch. They are going to attack first. It's the Armed Eviscerators going to. You should taunt them. Call him in. Call him into you. I'm not sure about taking all the damage, but maybe it'll be okay. Okay, that did hurt a bit. Okay, so you now get to move. Go ahead and keep going to this guy. We get one more attack on him. Um, yeah, do the gut punch on this guy. Take him out. There. I like to focus fire. Nice, and the attack totally blew them up. So they did get an attack up. Okay, so you're going to be attacked again. You should probably defend. Which makes all defenses go up. Yep, okay, we barely took any damage from that attack. That's good. Oh, excuse me? You just ignore the taunt now? That's rude. I'm talking directly to you when I do that. Um, we should probably make him bleed, right? Yeah, go for the Gunslinger. We should probably heal her. Healing wave on you. And jab on... Actually, no. The overcharge, the way it is, use Quake Fist. Alright, I mean, she's definitely in the way. Man, that Armed Eviscerator is pretty bad. Okay, heal up. It's not going to heal her full, but it will help. And it critted. That's pretty good. Alright. Swift Strike. No, we don't have been... Shit. Okay. Yeah, we should take him out. It's a little bit of waste because the overcharge doesn't go anywhere, but we should definitely take him out. Shit. Okay, no, the bleeding will kill him. Yeah, there we go. Bleeding kills him. Okay, good. Alright. Now, you should probably heal Garrison, right? That would make the most sense. Yo, Garrison. The taunt, I don't think, works on this guy, so don't even worry about it. He's gonna crash into somebody. No idea who. Can we tell who? Hover over it. No, he's got a bladed shield. Deals six damage to attackers. That's basically thorns. 
He only has one more on the attack power. Maybe we just defend? No, I think we do barrier swing. Yeah, that should protect somebody. And then you go ahead and bleed him, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and on Garrison, who's knocked out. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, the heal's not gonna help. So I guess you default to healing yourself. Alright. Well, that's gonna suck. Um, we do have an item for this, though, right? We have the Revival Flask. Let's use it. Unfortunately, if he gets hit again, that's gonna be really bad. Um, you should definitely do the jab, I guess. Or you can taunt him. You can try to taunt. See if it works. She does have the shield. Yep, okay. That worked out. Took away the shield, but that's exactly what it's there for. He needs to heal, but I'm hoping that um, we can make that happen later. Okay, he has the overcharge. Let's make use of that. Warblade seems decent here. Yeah, definitely Warblade. It's going to take us a while to get there, but it's totally worth it. Okay, you need to heal him, though. And then... We taunt again. I thought... Yeah, draw the next three attacks. Oh, the next three attacks. Okay, that's what was up. Okay. So then you need to defend then to make sure you don't take any more damage than you need to. Yeah, I didn't quite take him out, but that's okay. Garrison gets healed. Appreciate it. She gets stabbed. But not too bad. That's totally survivable. And, in fact, if you want to go ahead and just take an item for healing, that's okay. Yeah, we don't have very many of those, but take it anyway. And then Swift Strike, which won't kill him, but it'll come close. Really close. Gut Punch will take him out. There you go. Okay, a little tough. Garrison dropping is kind of embarrassing, but it does happen occasionally. We are actually running down on, uh, so I'm glad I didn't use difficult, because that would have been bad. What the hell is this? All the glowing pool, pool rather, pulses with dark energy. You make out faint glimmers of some sort of treasure in the middle of it. Inspect it first. Notice that some corrupt dark energy purely expands and retracts, but follows a rhythmic, predictable pattern. It so makes you feel uneasy. I'm going to reach for it. And burns, you're forced to retract it. Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe we can do it as the golem? Maybe? Nope, forced to retract. Okay, so it's just a... There might be a way to do this later. I don't know what it is. But maybe. Okay, so we came from top, right? Actually, I don't know where we came from. Um, if we look at the map, we'll be able to tell. Okay, so we can go either of these two directions. Let's go this way. I should probably... Yeah, I'm going to heal. There, that healed everyone to full. I like it. We only have one of those left, though. So we managed to, I don't know, rest or something? Here's me. Undelivered letter. Boss, you got a problem. The airship got past the patrol. Made it almost to shore, but I can explain. It was fast. Pilot was good. We had the light armada on him, but this wizard... He shot lightning out of his eyes, took half the fleet out in one whiff. We got him aboard, but one of them cut up about uh, 50 men of our, by himself. And there was this kid with this glowing gauntlet, had strength that we couldn't figure. She punched one of our ships out of the sky by herself. Okay, now he's just making shit up. We hit her square on with a gun, she just stood there smiling. Took the ship down over the western shore, but couldn't find no sign of him. I'm sure they're dead, yeah? The fall was impossible. We'll keep an eye out. Please don't sell one of them freaky bonemen to whoop the guys again. Okay, yeah, slight exaggeration. I like that. Slight. Just very slight. Just, you know, making up stories out of whole cloth, really. I can't seem to go down at all. Why can't I... Okay, so I can't go down that way, but I can go down over here. Got some herbs. I'm expecting a boss fight. Seems like that would be a good cap to the dungeon, right? Get ourselves a boss fight? That might even be what this guy is. He might be the boss. Hold there. Okay. You will go no further. Okay, Gondolf. Get into here if you tell us where our friends are. 
The ones on the ship you shot down. Dead, suddenly. So you don't actually know. If not, they will be after we kill you. Shout out the rats. You shouldn't have come here, outsider. Or outsiders. Conversation's over. Alright. We go in here and we fight? Yeah, battle. Okay. Okay. The hovering is kind of intimidating. I do kind of want to see how the hovering is done. Uh, we should probably taunt. So we get at least the full attacks. Yep, okay. So she takes those attacks. Okay. Who do we want to punch first? Seems like we should punch the gunslinger first. The boss is going to be a problem for sure. Or the bandit rogue, whatever the hell he is. Yeah, take this. Take the gunslinger out. If we can. And make him bleed. Okay. Did get poison there. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Okay, so now we get an ability... Yeah, let's use an ability. Let's do cleave. Target and a nearby enemy. It doesn't say which one, but alright. Go ahead and do... Got punch on this guy. Okay, you are still going to be taking damage. Because we only had one of these guys attack us. No, we had two. We had two. So we're going to take at least one more attack. We should defend. And there it is. That's the last one. Now he's free to attack wherever. Oh, he healed his friend. Okay, well, I'm not sure if the regen is going to help us bleed. We should keep focusing down this guy, though. Even with the regen, I'm hoping he doesn't manage to make that work. Um, barrier swing this guy. Okay. Heart only hurts a little bit. Not too bad. Swift so strike this guy. And then her ability should take him out, but he's not going to be able to go yet. Come on, Gully, you can do it. Okay. So she shielded herself, basically. Which was a good thing, because that could have hurt. Um, you should definitely heal her. She's she's not feeling all too good. He's going to be next to heal. Um, with the ability you have, probably a Warblade or Rally Strike would be better. Rally Strike this guy. Billy gets healed, thank you. Billy gets to act. What do I want her to do? She doesn't really have much... Getting another barrier swing might not be a bad idea, though, in case she gets targeted again. So it's going to be him. That gets... It's going to be Garrison who gets the shield. Okay. That does hurt, oh, like, a lot. Holy shit. That's incredible. Okay, well, I'm glad I put the shield on you, but now you really need to heal. Okay, a little bit of ow. You should heal your friend here, because otherwise he's going to die. Okay, so fortunately he'll get the heal before anything. That's good. But the ability, I think you just want to... I mean, Rage Wave is not necessarily a bad idea. And then you go ahead and taunt again, actually. Yeah, taunt again. Don't have much in the way of health, but... Well... I don't know. I don't know. Should she taunt again? Protection might not be a bad idea. Zora's 57 damage. Put that on yourself. Yeah, put that on yourself. Okay, he's healed. Which is good. She just shielded herself. Let's see what they do. Okay, it's a good thing she shielded herself. Poison sucks, but not horrible. Open cleave? Yeah, cleave took out the rogue. Fantastic. Okay, that hurt a little bit. No big. Sunder this guy. Is he slowed? Is that what that is? 
No, Rally Strike. Okay. He has one more turn ability. Okay. Um, we could actually cleanse the poison. Off of... Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have very much health. He has less health than everybody else. Could do that. Obliterate might be good. Is he sundered? He is not sundered. No. You got punch him then. Now he's sundered. Alright, yeah, just jab him or heal yourself. One of the two. I think just jab him. Yeah. We're not going to be able to take him out just yet. Probably should have poisoned him, or sorry, made him bleed, but... Yep, that hurt a little bit. He's only a little injured. I suppose you should heal him, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to, though. The heal is going to take time. Yeah, it's going to put him after everybody else. So yeah, we're not going to actually be able to heal you. Sorry. Instead, we're just going to knock this guy out. Prevent him from causing any more damage. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay. Boss is down. Got an outpost tunic. Which I'm going to guess is better than what we currently have. We can use one more heal. Let's do it. Okay, Garrison's feeling a little better, but not by much. Alright, well that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Battle Chasers Night War. I'm PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.